Two-thirds of plastic food containers which we put in our recycling bins end up being buried or burned because they can't be recycled. According to the Local Government Association of England and Wales, the combination of plastics used in many yoghurt pots and ready meal trays mean they can't be properly processed. Matt Cole reports. Plastic isn't meant to end up here, choking the seas and the life in it. But despite a growing public awareness of the need to recycle, councils say their efforts are being undermined by manufacturers. It's at sites like these across the country that the recycling process begins. Mountains of rubbish needing separating into what can and can't be reused. Now, when it comes to plastic, well, there are bottles like this, fairly easy to separate and recycle. But what about these plastic fruit pellets containing mixed materials? That's not so easy. And then there's these black plastic microwave trays. The sensors in recycling sorting machines can't detect the black. And as a consequence, problems with things like this, that means two thirds of plastics end up just being thrown away. Most ends up in landfill or is incinerated, but that's more expensive for councils and taxpayers. It's very confusing. I washed up black things for ages and because I didn't want them hanging around smelling before I went and put them into recycling uh, and then heard that black was not, you know, you can't do it. To be honest, I just look at it and go, plastic's going in there. <laughs> and I think that's what a lot of people do. The choice of packaging to present their product is seen as crucial by some manufacturers, but now there are calls for change. Black plastic cannot be recycled currently. And so we're saying that actually black plastic should be banned completely and manufacturers should be made to use plastics that can be recycled. Another solution could be to vary the current flat rates paid by manufacturers to help recycling costs, charging extra for more difficult materials. I think what we need to do is drive designers and manufacturers and brand retailers to go towards those types of packs which are more easily recycled because these ones yield secondary material which can be used again. The government acknowledges more work is needed but says it is working with manufacturers to improve recycling rates. Matt Cole, BBC News. Temperatures remain at near record-breaking levels across Spain and Portugal. Three people have died of heat stroke in Spain.